Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to a new tutorial today. And look, I've got a little chicken today and he's going to be blurred out in the background because we're going to be able to show how to render things above the background and we can set a blur, which is specifically a UI blur, and you control all the settings for how blurry you want the background to be. The down sampling, we're going to look at the GitHub to be able to set this up. And remember, like I say, you can use this on a UI to be able to blur out your UI, or you can put other 3D objects in front if you want to make it more of a gameplay sort of scenario. So remember, this is for URP. Do let me know what you think. Be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out the link in the description for the free assets and all the savings that you can make this month. So here I am on the Tom SC128 for the URP Kawazi Blur, if that's how you pronounce it. And this is a updated version of Sebastian Hines similar type of blur. If you go onto the main page and you can check out in the description, you can go onto releases on the right hand side for the Quasi Burr package 1.2. We'll click on that and you can see that the package 1.2 being the latest and we just need to click on this one here and make sure we download that package. Now I'm in a fresh version of URP which is in 2021.3.4 you can do this above and below. So to get started what you can do in your project is right click import package custom package and I'm just going to navigate to my desktop and import the unity package which is the quasi blur and I'm just going to click import. Throw a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed to be always be kept up to date to what I'm making. Once we've done this we'll get a whole folder with the scripts and the shaders in there. Now to start this and make this happen we need to go to wherever your URP renderer and just the normal asset will be and you need to make sure that you enable or pick textures in the actual URP asset that you're using and you can find that in edit project settings and you can go to graphics and find the URP pipeline settings. Now we need to go to the renderer which controls all the rendering that we'll do for URP. Then we're going to add a new render feature and we're going to choose the Kawase Blur. Then we're going to drop that down and we're going to go to the settings. And now you can see your render pass needs to be before rendering transparency. Then we need to select a material and I'm just going to type in blur here and we're just going to have this Kawase Blur features that we're going to use. Then we can set the blur passes to something like five and I'll set the down sample to two and we can leave everything as it is for now. We often do this on a UI or something like that. So you can right click, choose UI choose image and now the image is just going to be my UI blur which even though it's a UI I'm just going to make it bigger. I'm going to select the anchor at the top press alt and then press the bottom right which will just expand it out exactly like this. Then we're going to choose a material and then we're going to type in blur again and I'm just going to choose the unlit blur. So unlit blur is not affected by lighting in any way. Now you can see it looks weird as if the material of the shade has got some issues with it. Now we need to go to the canvas and we need to make sure that this is a screen space camera canvas and then we need to select the main camera that is going to be on it so we can press play here. Now you'll notice that you can't see anything but we need to change the plane distance to around 0.5 so as you can see on my main camera here, it's just directly in front of where the main camera is rendering and it's very, very close. Now, how are we going to get this object in front of that blur itself? Now, we need to make sure that we can render above it with some layers and another camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my main camera and I'm just going to parent the main camera that I've just duplicated on top. So I'm just going to call this top camera. I'm going to untag it so it's not that's not a main camera anymore. And then on my main camera, I'm going to make sure this is set to base. But on my top camera, I'm going to make sure that it's an overlay camera. Now, in this instance, I'm just going to change the clipping plane down so we don't render as far. But it's only this camera is only going to be used as a camera to render things on top. With the main camera selected, select and create a new layer. Then if we create a new layer, and we're just going to call this render above. Then if I go to the main camera, and I make sure that render above is unticked. So then the main camera will never render it if anything's on that layer. So as you can imagine, if I look, go to my tune chicken and I go to the layer and set it to render above and I just say, yes, I want to change all children. Oh, we disappeared because the main camera will never render it now. But we're going to use the second camera because that's now an overlay camera, which is on top of this because URP to support this by default. Then we can go to the culling mask. We're going to change this to nothing because we don't actually want that camera to render anything other than what we specifically specify. And then we can go to 
render above. And you can see in my little preview, we can see the chicken floating in the air. Now we've done all that, we need to go to our main camera, add the stack option at the bottom and select plus for the cameras and add our top camera here. Now, seeing as though our chicken now has above and of course, with the top camera, you can take the far clipping planes down until it sort of disappears and you can take it down so it doesn't really render objects very far at all. So you would take all the oversight out of it or you can change the settings on the high fidelity renderer or whichever renderer you're using for URP to increase the blur if you want, or you can adjust the down sampling to change the look of it too. Now you can see that, there we go, now we've got our chicken that looks like it's sort of floating in the air because it's rendered above everything else and over the rest of the geometry so we can blur out the background. And of course, this UI blur can be used on other UI elements. So this can be used on other things. So now you can create your UI and put it over the top and it looks absolutely fantastic. Make sure you check this out on GitHub. Let me know what you think. Do be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Do come and chat to me on Discord. Do check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store along with bonus savings on my website for all those assets and I've been doing big updates recently to all of my assets. And I wanna say a big thank you to all my patrons including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Gene Pomier, Manos Barakas, Terence Conrad, Gage Linston, Walter Dunson, Joseph Newman, Rene Leisure, Darren M, Tofa Chambers, Ishak Zimani, Gary McGee, Christian Selent, Skaya Skaya, Benjamin Shankel, HK, Amanda Ditami, Alex Shen, William M, Jiraiya Sensei, and Kreshnik Halili. So thank you so much to everybody else who comes to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.